Hi Scorpio, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and darlings, my big apologies for not getting this out earlier. This is your late March and I'm going to include the early part of April because then that will cover the whole of the Easter bank holiday in the UK. Um, but yeah, I really do apologise. I had a couple of nasty falls um, in the first and second week of March and I'm still suffering. Um get on the mend but suffering i ended up in hospital for a couple of hours over them as well so just please bear with me as it is bloody painful um and i'm a bit of a klutz and once i start having a couple of falls there might be some more in the offing as well so let's get on with your reading what's happening so i'm reading this coming up to the full moon literally the full moon i think is the 25th I'm reading this on the 24th, really significant for you water signs anyway. Um, but we've also um, got some other th things going on, some other shifts going on as well. So not only have we got the full moon, but then we, and it's in Libra, so it's a super moon as well. Um, you've got the energy that is going to raise the vibration of the planet over the Easter holidays. Whether you celebrate or believe in Easter or not, when you've got that amount of people praying about the same sort of thing, it can't help but raise the vibrational energy of the planet. Um, lots of people go out and buy Easter eggs and celebrate Easter. Um, if it's warm enough in the UK, we have barbecues, all that sort of stuff goes on. But it is a long bank holiday weekend, so it's usually from the Friday right through to the Monday um yes yeah, so it's a nice long weekend at the end of the day so that's coming up for us and then as we go into april um and we get towards the new moon which is a couple of weeks away um we've got the eclipse as well so there's lots of energies going on and i do believe somebody mentioned the other day although i've not had a chance to look it up is that um, I think Mercury is going retrograde, but I will look it up. I have no chance to look it up, but I will look it up. So let's get on with your reading. For those of you that haven't been here for a while, I've got a nice new little family look. This is Plum Blossom. Isn't she beautiful? She is a plum blossom jasper, and I decided to call her plum blossom. This is Jade, and she's going to be called Jade because she's pretty, beautiful. Then we have got another Jade from a different part of China, and I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. But her name is going to be Primrose because native primroses are a yellow tinged with green before they open so that's why she's primrose and then we have a red veined stone now she is really heavy and she's bigger than the other dragons she has got a lot of substance to her and i kept thinking what the hell am i going to call her and i couldn't call her any anything on um cancer's thing because i had forgotten the name that i looked at yesterday that i liked and i just went out into the garden and i thought i've got a rose that is very similar color to this and it has got this vein through it and it's called crazy for you and i think that that's what i'm gonna call her i'm gonna call her crazy for you after the rose in the garden it's either that or she's gonna get called rose tell me what you think but they're my new babies they are proper crystals um i'd never seen anything like it before they just suddenly popped up in one of my feeds and i was like oh my god i've got to have those and it was blossom um plum blossom and jade the dark jade one that came first because they were the first ones i saw the other two i saw later and there is another one that is 
quite, I'm not going to take that one. I don't know why that came out for you. Energy card place for school. If it comes out again, I'll, I'll take it. But um, I shuffled those cards so well. And that's exactly what Cancer had as their um, energy card. Strange, isn't it? So let's see if it comes out again. Oh, I think they've got the ant with me. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my Lord. The whole lot just fell out of my hands. And it still came out. It fell out once and then it's come out again. So I'm going to take it. Okay. Well, well, I never... Strength, fennel. Now, I don't know anybody who doesn't know fennel. It's got a very aniseedy kind of taste to it. It's not my cup of tea at all. But I can see why it says strength because it is a strong taste. And I should imagine anybody who can partake of fennel has got the constitution of an ox. So when I was talking to cancer and get a completely different vibe about this scorpio your strength is drawn down from the universe you've got the athami there where you would point the point at the universe and draw the energy down it's a number 19 so it's a completion um, of what's going on around you so i'm getting that you are drawing your energy and your strength from the solution and the resolution that is around you very nice very nice way to start the reading completely different meaning than cancers so can i have what started scorpio's wtf i've been trying so hard not to swear in these videos it failed so i'm not even gonna try anymore i'm just gonna be me um and if people don't like it well i'm really sorry but it's the way it is so a big welcome back to my subscribers who've been with me for quite a while. You know how grateful I am for you guys for being on this journey with me. But also, we've got a lot of new subscribers since Christmas, so I want to do a shout out to them as well. Lovelies, just be aware, um, with the subscriptions and that, if you're not getting notifications from me, um, if you have not done a subscription and the notification bell as well, um, on your phone, you won't get notifications or subscribe. I do get notices and I don't, don't do it on the phone, but it is something that they are kind of um, doing at the moment where only the subscriptions on the phones on your handheld devices are um, going to be notified so if you haven't subscribed to me on your phone please go and do that hit the notification bell because i know there's a lot of you out there but i'm just not seeing people on my site also the other thing is to get the algorithms going and get in um the channel scene is please please hit that like button um and send me a message the more um interaction that we have on the channel the better it is for the channel in general so Oh, nice. So the beginning, beginning, the end of March, the beginning of April, two of chalices. There has been a celebration with you and another person. It doesn't have to be male and female. It can be anybody. It can be a friend. It can be a lover. It can be a parent. It could be a child. But there's been a celebration with the two of chalices. This is the coming together of like-minded people with equal amount of chalices. So it could be a friend energy. I suppose it could be a partner energy as well um but you've both filled up your own chalices you know your worth you've put healthy boundaries in and you are coming together in this 
united form which is brilliant and then because of that coming together you've got the six of wands this is my accolade card this and my attraction card so while you're riding high on this horse with accolade around you and it's usually because you've done something significant for friends family or community or a combination of those things that you may well think well it won't an awful lot but to other people it was it's going to make a difference and while you're up on that steed and you are riding high your aura changes to a brighter lighter more attractive color your inner light starts shining through a much brighter color and that means that you've got the attractor factor not just for um a potential mate but for acquaintances and friends and family and all of that so just know that you're starting off this latter part of march with a very positive foot forward um yeah this coming together this celebration could well be um parents celebrating with you the accolade is definitely to do with the entire family and the community so just kind of think about maybe you've given somebody a lift who couldn't get to a family party or perhaps you made some arrangements for some transport for some community members to get to a meeting whatever that means for you but there is there is a celebration around this so i think that for some of you are going to see it's being quite trivial but to others it's kind of changed their lives so just go along with it allow people to have that um, celebration with you because it's really important so facing your fears and taking your power back there's been a struggle and you've been in transition between having and not having uh, with the five pentacles now facing your fears with the five pentacles is you don't have to put yourself out in the cold you weren't um significantly um out of money or significantly wanting for anything but you had this feeling that you had to check your purse strings you had to check um what bills you were paying perhaps for a little while you're robbing peter to pay paul but i get that you kind of put yourself out in the cold because you didn't you just couldn't see a way forward you couldn't see the warmth from the standing stones and from everybody around you that was trying to support you but i do feel that that's transitional and i do think that as we get to the end of march that transition will turn into a 10 and you will get the completion that you've been after so face your fears and taking your power back the taking your power back is getting off that bloody bench and going to that standing stones and realizing just how many pentacles that you actually have got may have been a long time coming but it's there so facing that fear it has been i'm kind of getting that i don't know if it's five months or there's significant number five was it a year ago happened in may uh, but some there's a five there's a significant five in this figure so just know facing that fear where you've kind of like okay it is what it is i'm doing what i can do and taking your power back by making steps that you are securing your future has been immense for you and you know i'm kind of getting that whatever you've strived to do has been started to begin to pay off Do you know, have got this in the same freaking spot as well, I think. Was it there? It was there. Eight of chalices. Darlings, what's been happening in this transition has bought you some opportunities that you didn't think that you were going to get. Eight of chalices my communicate one of my communication cards but the universe is communicating with you do not look at the obstacle that's been thrown at your feet don't look at the obstacle look at the opportunity so he's scratching his chin going what the fuck is a vine doing on the beach 
Why is that there? Whereas he should be going, oh, hold on a minute, it's a vine. I can use the vine leaves to make food out of. I can use the vines, um, you know, the branches for twining and that. And those beautiful grapes, well, you've got opportunities there because you can either sell the grapes as they are or you can make wine from them. So instead of looking at an obstacle head on, look at it from a different perspective and see what the opportunity that that is actually bringing towards you. And I'm kind of getting that your manifestation um, you've been looking for an opportunity, but you just feel like everything that you've done is an obstacle. Now switch it around and look at everything that is an opportunity, not an obstacle at all. So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You've got the king of a famous Scorpio, Libra, um, Aquarius or Gemini. This king is a very studious king. He knows his shit. He's learned everything he needs to know. Usually quite a high-powered king, male or female, they know their shit. Usually a lawyer, a doctor, an advocate, somebody who's going to give you advice, a social worker, a nurse, all of those sort of professions. He's a no-nonsense king. He doesn't like he said, she said. He really does not like it. He likes to get to the bottom of what's going on. So there may have been something quite legal around you recently uh, where somebody has seen the good sense to actually read the paperwork properly, thoroughly, and come to a beneficial conclusion for yourself. And what it's done, it's given you a reset with the Ace of Wands. This is triumph. This is you saying, hell no, the sky's apart and the sun's coming through. The sun's coming back to me. And here are these beautiful cherries that that sun is going to ripen off. But you've got a wand there. The magic is just about to happen. But those opportunities you've got by way of the cherries, they are oh so sweet. Because of the ruling that's happened after this person has really taken on board what it is that's been going on in your transition. So there could have been, and I'm going to say a divorce in the loosest term possible because there's many different divorces. We can divorce a person, we can divorce our parents, we can divorce a job, we can divorce friends. You know, it's a separation. There's been a separation, parting of the ways. This person has seen what the truth is and it's given you this huge, massive boost of the Ace of Wands. Magical stuff is about to happen. Passion, fire, all of that desire, it's all coming your way. And all you got to do is flip that wand and not your tail, Scorpio. So what can you do about this situation, darling? Don't cut corners at this point. Do not do it. Yes, the sun is just on the horizon and you could cut straight across those fields to that sunshine. But let me tell you, the universe wants you to know that you do not take that shortcut do the twists and the turns of the journey, the roundabouts, the forks in the road. Enjoy the journey for what it is now. I'm kind of getting that it wasn't enjoyable, but going forward, providing you don't take shortcuts, providing you continue your journey diligently and look at the twists and turns as pit stops rather than, oh, well, this is it. It isn't a termination, it's a pit stop. So just know that that journey towards that sun and that happiness still continues. But I'm going to say your load is a lot lighter because I'm getting that you are automatically going to enjoy the journey. Mm, very nice. So what is this something you can't do anything about? You've got the Queen of Pentacles coming through. 
Now, some people would say the Queen of Pentacles also depicts the Earth Mother for obvious reasons. She's holding this massive big pentacle. She's looking out over her kingdom with great pride, knowing that she's invested wisely in everything and everyone in her kingdom. Behind her is the world tree, the opportunities that that brings with it. Your roots run deep and splay out over the top of the earth. You're sending resources and receiving resources. Um, she's also got this little pot of nuts, which would indicate a pot of plenty, a cornucopia, if you like. But this queen, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, male or female, is coming in to show you that investing wisely into yourself and your situation is going to set you up for a very long time. Listen to their counsel on what they've got to offer. Reconnecting to your true self. Four of ones. Hard work, diligently done, paying off. Now, a lot of people say the Four of Wands is celebration around parties, engagements, marriages, anniversaries, that sort of stuff. And absolutely it could be. But I think for you, the celebration is going to come around some very hard work paying off, which may then lead you to have those parties, those engagements, those anniversaries, all of that sort of stuff. But now you feel really able and ready and waiting to actually get back into this happy mode where you can say your full harvest is coming in. In fact, the harvest has arrived. It's what you do with the harvest now that's the important thing. So do you make cider? Do you make apple? Do you make apple pie? What, what is it you do? You know, so that's the kind of celebration that is going on and yes it could be that you're getting engaged or getting married or whatever but i do get the essence that this is more to do with work and having that celebration of a job well done and bonuses so not only have you got this accolade card and the two of cups at the beginning and reconnecting to your true self with the four of wands You've also got what I call is, um, I don't know what I call it. It's just popped out of my head. Don't I call that anymore? Oh, they've done it to me earlier about this. The three of pentacles. Um, other readers read it as a marriage card. I don't particularly. I kind of see it as... Um, oh, flaming egg. Now, this is really odd because I've never seen it as this before, but I'm going to put it out there because they keep popping it in my head and it's not how I feel about this card at all. But I've just heard the word conspiracy. The fuck is that all about? If I swear to God, if that means anything to anybody, can you let me know in the messages below? Because I haven't got a clue what that's about because this is usually my... Thank you. This is usually my collaboration card, the coming together of like-minded people. But I distinctly heard from the spirits conspiracy. So listen, lovelies, as much as I want to say that this is turning out in your favour, do not let somebody come along and dissuade you from connecting to this person um, in order to listen to what they've got to say and making you an offer because I think it would be the wrong thing to do you've got to let that's what this card is about continue the journey you're already on continue that journey do not take the shortcuts that they are depicting oh my god I never even saw that in this Okay, so whatever it is has been beneficial to you up to now, but don't take the shortcuts. Don't listen to what it is that this person, they are coming across as a collaboration, maybe an out-of-court settlement. Don't do it. Make sure 
that the courts rule in your favour. Make sure that you don't take an offer without getting good, firm advice in the first place. Oh, that got a bit strong towards the end. No wonder you need the strength card. So what's hidden from you, what's a little bit further away, Ace of Pentacles coming in very nicely. Thank you very much. Could be a moving the offing around career, money and finance. Could be all three combined. Whatever it is, this is in your best interest and for your higher good. Very nice. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. Anything else for Scorpio, please? Oh, okay. How bloody pile just plopped out. That's the second time that's done that today. These must be the most significant ones, though. So you have got Traveller. Move in a new direction. Nice. Earth Mother. Second time you've had her out. Feel loved and comforted. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Snake, shed old skin. Do not be tempted to be the same person that you were a couple of years ago. There's your sunshine. Enjoy success and happiness. In comes the hunter. Track down your fears and desires. The heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Sage, be devoted and committed to you and your journey. An arrow, surround yourself in protective energy. Darlings, that's your reading for the end part of March into the beginning of April. Wherever you are, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.